turn off the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth on your phone, and they tell you not to use the ATMs too because those could be hacked as well. This is the DEF CON ballroom. It's sort of the main room where things are happening, and it's pretty wild. I think this is Car Hacking Village. This car is locked. Can you get me in? I'll unlock it for you. It should be good. <laughs> Hacking is no longer like this fringe activity, and if you are at DEF CON, there's a good chance that you're here because you want to learn what could happen to you or your company. Anyone here first time in the SCCTF? I invited Chris to hack me uh, with his team, um, but they're going to hack me using social engineering, which is essentially hacking without any code. They just use a phone and an internet connection. We help people with human security issues by testing vulnerabilities for, um, for like a network test, but it's for the people network. We test those vulnerabilities, see where the holes are, and then help people learn so they can patch them. Can we try some of this? Can we try some, Yeah. see I if it works? Yeah, we, we probably could uh, have our star visher here make some phone calls. As <laughs> Let's do it. Sure. Do you want to do a sample vishing call? What's vishing? Vishing is voice solicitation, and basically um, what you do is you use the phone to extract information or data points that can be used in a later attack. Let's do it. Will okay. you, who are you going to call? Maybe I'll call your cell phone provider okay. and see if I can get them to give me your email address. I, I bet they're good. I bet they have my back. <laughs> but, yeah, go, go for it. I'm going to spoof from your number, so it's going to look like it's calling from you. Okay. Hi. I'm actually, I'm so sorry. Can you hear me okay? I, my baby, I'm sorry. <laughs> my... <laughs> my husband's like, we're about to apply for a loan, and we just had a baby, and he's like, get this done by today, so I'm so sorry, I can't I, um, call you back. <laughs> I'm trying to log into our account for uses information, and I can't remember what email address we used to log the account. The baby's crying, and um, can, can you help me? Awesome. In just 30 seconds, Jessica gets my personal email address. Um, now, if I needed to um, add our older daughter on our account so she could call in and make changes, how would I need to go about doing that? You would have to send me a secure pin through a text message? Yeah. Well, the thing is, I don't think I'll be able to receive a text message if I'm on the phone. Shh, shh, shh. Oh, I'm not on there either? I, so I thought when we got married, um, he added me to the account. Okay, my Jessica name. uses my girlfriend's name and a fake social security number 5127 to set up her own personal access to my account. Wait, I'm sorry, so there's no password on my account right now? Can I set that up? She I even gets the support person to change my Thank password. Thank you so much for your help today. So she just no, basically blocked me out of my own account. I'll get her fed after this. <laughs> All right, thank you. Holy shit. So they they just gave they just gave you access to my entire cell phone account. You're gonna have to go on and change your password now because it's Jess, my name. And all it took was a crying baby and a phone call. Yes. I really thought that my cell phone company would protect me. I mean, like this is the most basic stuff, and and they're not doing it. And if they're not doing it, you know, all these other businesses aren't doing it either. Anyone with a phone and an internet connection can do social engineering. But I was curious, what can a hacker with serious coding skills do? Well, DEF CON is the world's biggest hacking convention. It's hacking everything. Hacking uh, social, hacking hardware, hacking software, hacking various systems. I asked Dan Tentler, a well-known security researcher, to turn all of his firepower on me. I did get into quite a number of things that I found. So what were the first things you did? How did you start hacking me? Uh, I quickly found your Squarespace blog and had an idea. Uh, basically what I did was created a bogus Squarespace site and sent an email to you, um, a fish asking you to go to this website, run this certificate installer. And I did it because yeah. I'm an idiot. So once you ran that, uh, it gave me access to your computer and I created several fake pop-ups that looked like system pop-ups uh, that would ask you for your credentials. You didn't even have to have my passwords. No, you gave them to me. I gave them to you. Yeah. So I, I stole your 1Password keychain. That's and 1Password is where I store all my other passwords. So effectively by... And your social security number and your Amex stuff and all your stock trading and bank information. I can send email to everyone in this room as you. I am you right now if I wanted to be. If my evilness is working correctly, it should actually be taking pictures of your desktop 
and pictures through your webcam every two minutes, and I have been watching you for about two days now. In oh coffee shops, at your mom's house, on a plane. Here's you editing stuff. Here's you. Like, oh my god! So this is literally every two minutes through my webcam. Yeah, through this guy. How badly could you have messed up my life? I could have made you homeless. I could have made you homeless and penniless. How? Like, how? How would you make me homeless? Like I have control of your your digital life in its entirety. I have all your credentials. I have all your access to all your financial information, all your work information, all your personal information. I can pay people with your bank account or your Amex account. I am you. I can fully impersonate. Like the only thing I couldn't doctor would be like your fingerprints. This is like as bad as it gets. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's bad. So it turns out that Dan Tentler is very good at his job. I mean, he hacked the hell out of me. He got everything. Well, I mean, frankly, I want to take my computer and throw it into the deepest part of the ocean, and I want to become a hermit, and I want to never touch a piece of technology again, because, holy shit, that was that was everything. That was the keys to my entire life, and he just he just pulled them out of his.